What I love is that, that people empathize with what I'm doing, but they don't feel bad for me, which I, I, I wouldn't want them to because I've got a wonderful life. Since going public with his diagnosis in 1998, Michael has been at the forefront of finding a cure. Created over 19 years ago, his Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research has invested over $650 million in research. What do you say to anybody out there that has Parkinson's or has a family member dealing with Parkinson's? Parkinson, what can we do to give them hope? Well, I think, first of all, just love them and, and, and understand that they, the experience they're going through is unique and, and you, can't, you can't feel what they feel. You can just be there for them and, and uh, put up with them just because we, we, we can be a pretty cranky bunch. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that to, to have hope and, and to know that, that we, we are working on this day and night. And we all love him, and he gets love everywhere he goes ever since his days on Family Ties. And of course, Back to the Future. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. When you see that clip, Back to the Future, like, what kind of memories does it bring back? Uh, hazy ones, but it was it was such an interesting thing making that movie because I was making the movie and I was doing a uh, series of Family Ties. Oh yeah, a little show called Family Ties, <laughs> only our favorite. Well, I mean, it was 35 years ago. I don't take for granted that people people know it, but but I did both things at the same time. So I, it, the process of shooting the movie was was kind of a blur to me. Yeah. I, I, I finished the movie. And people said, "How is it?" I said, "I have no idea. I have no clue." <laughs> and I, I saw it and I said, "It's pretty good." Did you ever drive a DeLorean in real life? Well, I drove that DeLorean, I had, like 19 different kind of versions of it. I had versions where it was cut in half that way, versions where it was cut in half that way, versions where there's no top on it, so you get the camera and you get all the angles. And, and, um, and every one of those variations had some aspect to it that injured me. Right. <laughs> and it would cut my hands or bang my knees or, or suck at my back. It, it was, but it was fun.